more than 3,000 Rumi IDPs have been displaced following the demolition of their camps on the 21st of December 2022 by the FCDA Joint Tax Force. According to the camp leadership, the authorities accused them of harboring bandits and other criminal elements which they vehemently debunked. Plus TV, Emmanuel Hayjene has the report. These are faces of helplessness and despondency. They are the internally displaced persons occupying the Durumi IDP camp who have just been displaced once again by the Federal Capital Development Authorities without prior notice. Many have been finding it difficult to cope with the cold weather at night, which have mostly affected the health of women and children, including three newborn children who for days have had to stay without enough food. The country director, Action Aid Nigeria, NLB, who brought relief materials for the victims in a press conference, explained the hardship experienced by the IDPs since the demolition exercise. This is an urgent need for psychosocial support and for health support for, you know, uh, uh, that because they have been traumatized. They are also the IDP's belongings are now exposed to theft, those who have few belongings left, and to, to the same criminal elements that the federal government is, is said to be seeking to abolish. Actually, Nigeria is deeply concerned by the plight of these displaced persons, and as well, you know, and as well, we stand in solidarity with them. Today, we will be providing this uh, household, some of the households, as much as we can carry because it's an emergency and we don't have enough money. But we have to bring in some non-food items and some dignity kits because more than 70% are women. And so we are appealing to donor agencies and also other organizations, to corporate organizations, and they, you know, to come to the help of the IDPs so that they can also look at the issues of economic empowerment alongside food and non-food items. It is important to, for corporate organizations to look beyond the immediate physical environment for the implementation of the corporate social responsibility. The leadership of the camp also voiced their discontent on the manner the FCD authorities conducted the demolition exercise. I catch 17 Boko Haram's inside our camp and give to the government. I catch three, two AK-47 and local piston on inside this, our places. I no allow to take any criminal to be down together with them, they are working to the government and to her. We, inside our division, we have division inside our places, dreamy division, they are working together with them. They are working together with the DSS, they are working together to army. All of them, they are working together with them. They just come in regard, just come in like this. Come demolish everything. My women and their children, they are sleeping outside. Imagine. A woman had pregnancy for nine months because of this demolition. I delivered this woman. I can no reach. Even the picking, he reached like one hour to come. You know, you know, cry. I want to give that the intervening agencies in the country and development practices and not just stakeholders in the monetary area should convey. Uh, uh, so sort of a, a seminar or whatever on, on this IDP issue. Because if this commission was established 31 years ago, it means something was happening that time, okay, so it's coming. So I wish I think the government that all you need at all is for the government to agree with other people to sit down with IDPs on this code issue. One of the displaced persons, Sarah David, narrated her family's ordeal in the hands of an FCDA staff. And they come, they say they come to the Malaysian housing. As I came, I see plenty of them. They know not really let me work out on them. I, 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 I went back and find some, but, uh, I found way. I said, wrong. I came to, uh, and, and I came to my house, I did not see my children. 
as I'm packing the remaining of my tire, they don't allow me to pack my tire, and then we start crying, all of us were there. As my husband wanted to pack in all the, our, our remaining tire in our house, mm -hmm. they come beat my husband, they do not agree with him packing tire. Our condition is very, very bad. We are sleeping outside. And the bridge used to come every day. Even to cook is not easy for us. And we don't feel it. It's because of this thing will happen. Over 3,000 persons from 330 households in total, who are mainly from the northeastern region, comprising of persons from Goza and Bonu State, constitute 70% of the entire population, while the others are from Adamawa, and Yobi states. It is a case of double jeopardy for the Durumi IDPs as the government wants them to leave the FCT while there is unrest in their ancestral home of Goza. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.